He's taken 602 wickets in 167 tests, making him the second most successful bowler in English test history. He's wowed crowds at the Ashes so far, but on Saturday, he dropped this bombshell. Tomorrow or Monday will be my last game of cricket. You know, it's been a, a, a wonderful ride, um, a huge privilege to wear the Nottingshire and the England badge as much as I have. And, um, you know, I, I'm loving cricket as much as I ever have. It's been, a, it's been such a wonderful series to be a part of. Um, and I've always wanted to finish at the top. Growing up, he quickly followed in the footsteps of his father, England batter Chris Broad, signing a contract with Leicestershire just before his 18th birthday. By 2007, he made his debut for England, winning 167 caps against Sri Lanka. Since then, it's been a long and successful career. Stuart's the type of guy who's become a world-class performer, and that's because he's kept evolving on, on different surfaces, um, you know, through injuries, um, through series where perhaps he hasn't done so well. He's, he's found a knack of coming back, and, and that's what's made him such an outstanding performer. He's a true competitor. Um, when you're on that cricket field with him, um, you know that, that he's one man you want on that field. He's one man you want to throw the ball at the crisis, and he's come through so, so often in big series. And that's never been more true than in this summer's Ashes, where he became the only Englishman to take 150 Ashes wickets. But no time yet for retirement celebrations. He has to join his team for the fourth day as England fight to tie the series. Alice Porter, Sky News.